Hi, welcome to my uh, Linux desktop. It's a bit different desktop as you can see. And still guys, this is Ubuntu 16.10. Yes, it is Windows Enter. We do a nice screen fetch. And there you go. This is Ubuntu 16.10 Ejecuity. So it is really an Ubuntu and um, voila, and it is not it is an i3 it's a windows manager windows manager i3 it's actually a tiling manager it tiles your elements on your screen i press windows enter and I have another division another application next to it a terminal again windows v doesn't do anything but windows enter we made it vertical so i'm tiling now not horizontally but vertical so you can run a little nice nifty program no problem in this terminal it will do that in another terminal it will monitor the server another it will monitor cpus and ram and such so a lot of things can 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 be interesting for some of you this is i3, but it's not the typical i3. I move over elements and it changes from shade. That's Compton working. Everything is installed, everything is configured. You can have it as it is, as what you see is what you get. It's simple. All the scripts are on GitHub. The only thing you have to do is follow some steps. But getting rid of this is just moving to a specific element and then pressing Windows Shift Q stopping it and stopping it again so this is a tiling manager it's a bit specific it's a bit different and it was a different tiling manager that's what i was intended to to, to say it is it has gaps you see it has um, a way to see the wallpaper behind it normally it's not with caps but i am a designer i have made the study icons i am working on the surfing icons so i want to have a nice wallpaper i want to have some kind of color in my life basically so if you have uh, don't have the gaps you don't see beneath them so you don't see between them and so on so that's why i prefer the gaps version okay long enough about gaps when everything is gone, you see the conkeys. The conkeys are there to show you where your CPU and your RAM is going to, but also to help you. So this one is to help you. Mod enter, mod shift enter, mod shift enter is opening Nautilus. We want to go to the files in the folder, so we want to go to the terminal, and probably we want to go to the Firefox. So Firefox is here on number one. So here you can find as well all the information that we're now trying to explain to you guys is you can go to Linux i3 on one back and here you have i3 installing i3 on the latest Ubuntu 16.10 so it just is not that difficult you have all the explanations available a lot of tutorials available step one step two three four five six and I believe I stopped it step five so all the rest is not necessary four steps that you really need to do and that's it and all the rest is to learn to learn on later you know so some examples of course inkscapes work of course gimp will work of course vlc will work and other software spotify and so on so everything is there to help you this is your configuration file very important in the dot config i3 there is a config file this is the config file this makes us boss over the system we have here about 700 lines but don't worry they're set the way they're, they're supposed to be so just copy paste and follow my my knowledge let the, my knowledge guide you and once you're more adept in i3 change the lines be the boss of your system what's also interesting is that i have i3 on arch linux yes 
I take my configuration files with me, my shortcuts with me. I go to Antergos i3, still works. Linux Mint i3, 18. It works now on Ubuntu. So wherever I go, this i3 thing follows me around with all my configuration files and shortcuts and programs. And I am at ease. I am in an surround, uh, surrounded in an, an, an uh, environment that I know. But it is a steep learning curve. It's a thing, it can drive you mad. I remember a year ago, two years ago, that it can drive you mad. So I have made it easy for you. There's a lot of configuration files already set in place. There is a conky extra for you to remind you these will kill, for instance, something. This will open the file manager. This will open the menu. I should really show you the menu, Windows D. Any program you have on your system, and there are a lot of programs, but you don't have to do it like that. You can do it like VLC. And then these are all the programs with the letters VLC. And you can okay, can run it. I told VLC to come here, number seven. So here it is waiting for me to give an image, or give a movie or anything. VLC. Windows Shift Q. Why VLC? G4 D menu, so Windows Shift D is another menu. I've made it another color, so you know oh, it's somewhere else. Of course, VLC hmm, here not available. But other programs that we're looking for are from from time to time available in the one menu and the other menu. So we have uh, two of them. We can shift between two menus. Mm -hmm. Inkscape, Control Alt I. There she or he is. I have two open now. I can say, no, I want to compare the one with the other, but I want this one to be on the right screen. Okay, no problem. Windows, Shift. What do you choose? 7, 8, and 10 is, it, is already occupied, so I can take 6. And it will be moving to Workspace 6. Two of the items are next to each other. You compare, you see what's wrong, and so on. Work is done. Windows, Shift, U. Anything is possible. This is GIMP. This is a small GIMP now. I can get rid of the terminal and it will become full screen again. So this is actually a tiling manager. It's, it takes your, your real estate, your screen space and fills it up. But I chose to have some gaps. Otherwise it will be completely filled. Okay. Um, I think that's... that's um, that covers most of it, so there are other tutorials on there, on Eric Dubois, where you can learn all there is to know about i3, because this is just well, to, to an incentive to, to motivate you to look at i3, it's quite interesting. But if you want to know much more, you can go into detail, and it doesn't mind if it's a movie about Arch Linux or Antergos, or in this case, in my case, Linux Mint. It doesn't, and it doesn't matter. It's all i3. It works everywhere. So that's um, an interesting aspect to have a dual boot login with i3 or login with Ubuntu 16.10. It's a choice I have now. And lots of information you can configure so many things and um, well everything is complained explained here let's say have fun and um, now you can switch between i3 and ubuntu 16.10